What's up, you guys? My name is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and do enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Capture Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and lead the rest. Confirmation. <laughs> That's the te local teenagers going down the street yelling. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, love you guys so much. Um, if you'd like to donate, the link's in the description box below. I will not ask you for money. I know those WhatsApp bandit people have not been entering my chat, but I think it's because I monitor my chat so much. But if they do, I don't ask you for money. I mean, I just let you know that I have a link to, below for uh, donations. That's it. If you want to donate, of course, everybody has free will. But will I ever disguise as a WhatsApp bandit? No, because I am not one of those scammers. So I just want to make that clear. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Um, so I do appreciate all the love and support of the channel. All the social media sharing of the channel has really, really, really been helping because it's getting it around to more people that did not know about my channel in the past. So I really greatly appreciate that very much, you guys. Okay, so we're going to get into it at 7.34 p.m. 12 9 of 2022. Hope everybody's doing well. Okay, so the channel message I received was, I heard a Virgo has been experiencing very heavy chaos in their life. I heard they have lied on you in the past. Um, I heard in court, in court, um, and they're experiencing huge, heavy chaos in their life now. I heard they lied on you in court for money. And they're experiencing huge, heavy chaos in their life now. I heard they have you under investigation now. I heard hired a private investigator. However, through many series of chain of events, it's about to seriously backfire on you. So you plug it in how it resonates. Whoever you are, I didn't hear a sign on you. But it is a Virgo energy. Uh, Mask within Virgo. They could have Virgo in any aspects of their charts. But they lied on you in court in the past strictly for money. Now, that may, it makes me wonder why you wasn't subpoenaed. Um, why they were able to go to court and lie on you. Uh, why wasn't you subpoenaed? I mean, one's got questions, just saying, just saying. Why the hell wasn't you subpoenaed? It doesn't make any sense. Um, someone's getting a huge wake-up call. Someone's, I'm serious. Um, there's two sides to every story. So if they went in there and they were able, able to just free willingly lie on you in court, what, you have a right to defend yourself. You have a right to speak out and, and go back if they're saying something against you, but whoever you are, I don't even think you were there. You were not there. There you go. That's confirmation. You were not even there to defend yourself with your words. Um, what? Why was it you subpoenaed? That is crazy. But so, okay. So the lot on you in court, you wasn't even there. Apparently you were not subpoenaed. So they didn't even do it the right way because there's two sides to every story. And if they're lying on you in court, you, you, whether they were lying or not lying, you have the right to defend yourself. And they didn't. They didn't subpoena you. They didn't do it the right way. But I heard they lied on you in court strictly for money. But now they're experiencing huge chaos in their own life. They are high, have hired, hired a private investigator to investigate you. But it's about to backfire. Whoever you are. I didn't hear a sign on you, but it doesn't sound like they did it right in the court system anyways, because everybody has a right to defend themselves against whatever somebody is saying about them, especially in a court of law, because it is so serious in the court of law, because that affects people's lives in a huge way. The court of law does a huge way. So it blows my mind. They didn't even subpoena you or, um, give you notification of the court date for the Virgo to go in there and slander you and perjure. I heard you wasn't even there and you never knew about it. They never told you for reasons, but it's about to backfire in a huge way on them. Okay. And I heard they never told you for huge reasons, but it's about to backfire on them in a huge way. So you were never even notified. This doesn't sound like a proper court situation. Like, they didn't follow the proper policies, procedures, and protocols. This is crazy.
cray cray. Um, but I heard they didn't tell you for, for specific reasons, but it's about the back file. They sh you should have been subpoenaed. And I heard someone's getting a huge wake-up call. So someone else, one of you guys, is getting a huge wake-up call about this or something else. But am I not the only one that thinks this is freaking bananas like the Gwen Stefani song? B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Because it is. But so the Virgo knew what they were doing because they strategically lied in the court of law on you strictly for money. But now they're having chaos. But it's they're a huge-ass liar. I mean, it doesn't sound like they live their life upright with morals, ethics, integrity, and value. Obviously. Obviously, because they heard they knew exactly what they were doing when they went in there and lied on you. But I think they also knew they had it in the bag because I think they knew you weren't going to get subpoenaed. But there's two sides to every story, and you wasn't able to speak your side. That is so crazy. I heard it's about to backfire. So good. It should. But they've hired a private investigator to investigate you whoever you are, that's about to backfire. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Her take it, high honor, number 25, could be a very significant number in one's life, number 25, high honor. Through many series of chain events, you're about to get huge high honor. This private investigator is about to back out in a huge way. A very huge way. Okay, that's all I heard. So, okay, so I heard you're about to get high, high honor through many series of chain events, and I heard this private investigator is about to back out in a huge way, a very huge way. So you've got a private investigator <clears throat> watching you right now. Private eyes, they're watching you. Um, but if you're not doing anything wrong, you're just not doing anything wrong. And that's just the truth, for real, for real. So, you know, if you're living your life upright and not in a harmful way to others, um, and you, you're you good doing you, honey boo boo, in a safe, peaceful, non-harmful manner towards you or others, then you're good. I mean, who cares if private investigators watching you as long as they're not slipping illegal hidden voyeur cameras in your home or illegal listening devices in your home, which is very criminal and illegal. And can call, I mean, that can cause lawsuits because if you're paying for rent or mortgage and somebody else is spying in your home, especially making money off of it, that's very criminal. Just saying, just saying. I'm not saying this private investigator is doing that because I didn't, I didn't hear they were and I don't feel they are. But my point is, if the private investigator is not invading your civil rights and liberties, you're fine. As long as you're living your life upright, is what I'm saying. But I heard through many series of chain events, the private investigator is about to back out. You're about to get high honor. So you plug it in, how it resonates. This was all over greed. This private investigator knows this. This was all over greed, and this private investigator knows this. So it was all over greed, and the private investigator, know, investigator knows this. Maybe you're the private invest. Maybe you're the private investigator for one of you guys. Maybe you're the private investigator investigating this person, because we have this Virgo energy that's hired the private investigator. We have the private investigator, and we have you, the ones being watched by the private investigator. So I feel for one of you guys watching my channel, maybe you're the private investigator that's been hired to watch this high vibrational person. Um, and then we have the Virgo. But you, you're about to get high honor, sir, ma'am. Um, it's really terrible. It's terrible. I heard it, uh, the private investigator knows it was all over greed. And I heard it was. It was. We heard in here earlier it was. They should have subpoenaed you. This is about to backfire on this Virgo in a very huge way. Very huge way. They use you as a huge come up. A huge come up. And they're about to have a huge downfall very soon and very quickly. 
They're very opportun opportunistic energy. Okay, I heard it's about to backfire on this Virgo in a very huge way, very huge way. They're a huge opportunistic energy. They basically used you as a come up. And now they've got a legal stalker, a legal stalker, which is basically the private investigator, pri privately investigating your ass, legally. So like legal stalker energy. Um, this is terrible. So um, this is terrible. I just don't know what to say about this. I, I really don't. This is terrible. It's all about money. But the thing is, is why didn't this Virgo just go out and start a business of their own? Why didn't the Virgo go get a job? Why did the Virgo use you as a come up in the court of law? Who the hell does that? And I'm just being for real. There's many ways of making money, creating business or businesses. Um, uh, going and getting jobs, not lying on people in the court of law for a come up. Who does that? Someone else is getting a huge wake up call. I'm serious. That is the lowest of the low of the shit on the shoe as I've ever heard. And that's just the truth. Okay, I heard, I didn't hear anything else, but I heard this Virgo is about to have a huge come down. You're, and you're about to go up. So you're about to rise like the Phoenix and they're about to come down. So I heard the Virgo is like a huge ass opportunistic energy. And I feel, private investigator, I feel that might be for you. You're about to go up when I, because, you're about to stand up to this Virgo, private investigator, if this resonates for you. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But it sounds like you're about to stand up to this Virgo and basically refuse to do the services anymore or transmute the energy and make it backfire on this asshole because you know it's strictly for grief. Now, however you do that, I don't know. I don't know how you're going to do this, sir or ma'am. But it sounds like you're about to stop doing this. Because you know what the hell is going on, or you're about to find out. Now, how you do it, I don't know. So, I think the come up could be for you, private investigator, and the come down for the Virgo. And I think the come up could be for you, high vibrational individual, and, uh, and the come down for the Virgo. Or it could be for both of you guys. But this person's about to go down, but they did it in a hugely horrible way. I mean, who does this? This Virgo is about to be very publicly humiliated through many series of chain events, and they're about to get into a huge fight with the cancer. A very huge fight. And it's not going to go well for this Virgo. Okay, I heard this Virgo, uh, this Virgo is experiencing chaos, and it sounds like they're about to continue. Um, they're, they, they're connected to some kind of Cancerian energy, mask or fem cancer. They have cancer in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid hand, Jupiter charts. Heard they're about to get into a huge ass fight with the cancer, and I heard it's not going to go well with the Virgo. So, some kind of chaos, chaos and conflict energy here. Mask or fem cancer. They can't have cancer in any aspects of their charts, but doesn't sound like it's going to go well for this Virgo. It most certainly is not. It most certainly is not. It's not. It's not going to go well for the Virgo. So, whoever this person is to the Virgo, I'm not sure if it's a platonic connection, a romantic connection. For some, you could be this cancer. I'm not sure, um, but it's not going to go well for the Virgo. But the thing is, is who does this shit? Who does this? Nobody. And nobody would appreciate this being done to them. And I'm serious. Like, this is sick. I wasn't going to do another reading tonight, but I got this channeling. I'm about to go walking again tonight. I've already walked about three miles today. I'm about to go walk again. There's about to be change here. It was deep into the day, but I mean, it's obvious. There's about to be change. Um, you're about to get high honor, sir, ma'am. And honestly, I think you're about to get high honor, investigator. I think you both are, private eye and high vibrational uh, individual. I think you're both about to get high honor because you're about to stand up to this asshole, greedy asshole, and you're not doing anything wrong. They, oh, three majors know opportunistic energy is somebody that basically uses somebody for a come up which we heard in here earlier that they did. So they basically prey off people for come-ups, for, for money, for they only mess with you and be around you if they think they're going to gain something from it. It's kind of like a tick on a dog or a tick on an animal. The dog or the animal 
gains nothing from the tick being on them, but the tick gains everything. Their life force, i.e. the blood they're sucking out of the animal. Um, if that helps anybody. That is like an example of opportunistic energy. Meaning, this Virgo only messed with you to gain something, strictly. And they never speak to you ever. And that's about to benefit you in a huge way. Okay, and I heard they never speak to you ever, and that's about to benefit you in a huge way. So, sorry, ma'am, the one that got basically taken advantage of by this asshole, I heard this Virgo doesn't even speak to you. They don't even speak to you. And that's about to benefit you in a huge way. Well, good, because this is, like, terrible. This is terrible. Terrible. All right, I'm getting on this. I love you guys so much. Namaste.